Welcome to the Hunter Report, and today is how do you get good studio lighting for under a hundred dollars. Now I've been building a video, YouTube, Instagram production company for a few years now from my bootstraps. I didn't start with a huge budget. I'm very frugal. So what I'm going to show you are all of the continuous lighting products, and by continuous I mean video lights. I have a lot of flashes, but that's not the point of this video, that I've picked up over the years. Where you start is this baby right here, the Home Depot Special. Costs about, I don't know, three bucks, two bucks, and you can get them at 99 cent stores, and they have this, this clamp here, which really isn't that good, and you can clamp it to things like tables, but the clamp isn't great. You have cool little LEDs like this, which cost about 15 bucks. They're great for desks. I also use them for video on my laptop, and you're gonna see that in the later part of this video. It's just a great little light to have. I have lots of these, and I use them all throughout all different parts of my house. And then we get into the difference between LED and tungsten bulbs. Now, technically, this is an LED, but the reason I call it tungsten is because of the connector right here, and this is an Edison, I believe, 26 connector, and it's just your standard light connector, and because it's a standard, you'll even get things like LEDs, and I just got this at Home Depot, and this thing, this baby right here is incredibly bright. Then we step into the world of sort of portable studio LEDs. This right here is a Loom Cube, and it's incredibly powerful. Let me just show you how powerful it is. That's setting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this, this baby right here, it's just so powerful, I'm sure I'm overexposed. And the point I'm trying to show you is that for $70, $69, you can have a waterproof one of these. The engineering is incredible. You can actually get the same amount of light for only about 20 bucks right here. This is the newer uh, LED product. It runs on AA batteries. Whereas this Loom Cube right here runs on internal lithium batteries. So you're only guaranteed a life on this baby for about three to four years. Whereas you're using standard batteries here, so your lifetime is really infinite as long as you keep replacing the batteries and it's limited by the age of the LEDs. So let's take a little tour of the studio here and actually see what I'm using to light myself. So as you can see right here, I've got a four socket here. It's an umbrella. This is a nice tool right here in order to get a lot of light and to spread it out. But that's not really what I'm looking for because I'm looking for something to be a, a key light, a spotlight. This isn't a spotlight, this is a wide light. And let's move over here to the studio. See, I've got a great super clamp right here and that light goes on there and you can put a variety of things and umbrellas on here, the problem is you can't get a tight spot, and that's what I want is a tight spot. But the other thing I want is consistency. You see, my goal is to buy two lights, and I'm gonna have one in one color and one in another color, so I need consistency. I need the lights to be exactly the same, and I need them to be reasonably priced. I have other criteria in my mission right here. I'm also looking for a continuous light. The problem with the Loom Cube or even this baby right here, is that eventually they run out of battery. The Loom Cube is actually quite a bit brighter than this right here. Still, they're not bright enough. I need something as bright as this bad boy right here, which puts out 1,200 lumens, and I'm not quite sure at what the distance is. And let me tell it to you another way. I was doing a photo shoot out on the street, and I had three or four flashes going. And I brought the Loom Cube and I thought I could balance it against the flashes and it turns out the Loom Cube could not even come close to competing with the flashes. And that's where consistency comes in. It's sometimes more important to have exactly the same lighting capability across multiple lights than having one superstar light that you're trying to balance with another set of lights that have different capabilities. So let me review again exactly what I'm looking for. Consistency, power, continuous, the ability to accept barn doors, a focusing capability, and finally price. And I mean that both in terms of upfront cost, but also price over the lifetime of the product. This product right here, when these LEDs die, the light dies with it. Same with this Loom Cube. But with a lighting 
system <laughs> like this or some of the more advanced ones that I'm gonna show you, even if your light dies, your system stays in place. This right here is part of the system. You see this light hood right here with this light, because it's a round light, this will actually serve as a bit of a spotlight. Whereas this light right here, it's a built-in spotlight with a built-in lens. See, there's a, there's a lens right in there. So here's the Home Depot special. Very similar light socket. The only difference is that it fits onto a standard 5 8 inch jack. If I could get something like this that easily accepted barn doors, there's no reason you can't build something like this, you know, for under 20 bucks. Okay, this baby here is like 5 bucks. This baby here is a buck two bucks. That would basically accomplish my mission because I could just get lights like this and then just tape my gels right over here. And I could have mission accomplished for under $40. And if I miss the product, so what I'm about to show you is a hundred dollar product that literally accomplishes all of my goals. And it's for that reason that I'm buying. But I have to say that ultra powerful socket bulbs like this with built in lenses, built in floodlights, I just find very attractive. In fact, it's the same, it's the same lensing that's in this that's also right here in the Loom Cube. And I like that. This feels beefy right here, feels meaty, it's an LED. Same thing here, very beefy. Hear that? Metal on metal. Feels solid. These are workhorse professional grade products. I don't know, this one right here just doesn't feel solid, but I've had it for years and it has held up to the abuse that I've put it through. Without further ado, let's dive into the magical buying interwebs, where I will use this to illuminate my face. Now, if I had a budget of infinity, I would definitely get the RE150, and I'd get a bunch of these. See how they could accept a nice light pole. It's got a 14 degree to 42 degree focusing, great light, great construction. The problem is it's $340, and it's worth every single penny until a competitor comes out. Now in the LED world, the cheapest that you're gonna get for something that focuses, narrow to wide beam, plus barn doors, maybe 200 bucks. And I'm not even sure if the bulb is replaceable on this, so there's that problem. And here we are with the solution. Under $100, mounts on a standard light pole, Barn doors, accepts gels, easily tape gels to this, gaff tape, focusing beam, takes a bunch of, and here really is the solution to the problem, the impact qualite. It focuses 21 to 40 degrees, it has barn doors, safety glass, placeable bulbs, you can easily tape a gel to this whole situation, so... There you have it. To me, I'm really just buying all the apparatus that you put around the bulb. That's really what I'm looking for. Now, one day I will be able to afford those, those Ari babies. But for now, this is the solution. This is the Hunter Report. Please subscribe. Please give me a thumbs up and check the description below if you want to get any of these items. See you soon.